Hi friends, welcome to FJ Medical Videos. In the last video, we have discussed about the complete cardiac cycle, its graphical representation and sounds. This video is going to be the extension to the previous one. For all those who have missed the cardiac cycle video, I have placed its link in the description box below. In this video, I am going to deal with 7 very very important topics related to cardiac cycle. They are very important 2 marks questions even can be asked for 5 marks in your physiology. These are very helpful to you in the further classes of pathology and medicine. Jumping into the video proper, first topic is stroke volume. Before this, let's have a very quick revision of a few basic points. The diagram you see here is the heart with two atria and two ventricles. The right ventricle pumps the blood into the pulmonary artery and the left ventricle pumps the blood into aorta. Then coming to stroke volume, it is defined as the amount of blood pumped out by each ventricle in each heartbeat. So in a heartbeat of lap dub composing of one systole and one diastole, the amount of blood ejected from each of these ventricles is called as stroke volume. When a heart strikes once, that is when a heart beats one. So when you hear the word of stroke volume, stroke means to strike, then you have to Remember that it is the volume ejected during one heart beat. So coming to normal values of stroke volume, it is a 70 ml per ventricle. Here we take only one ventricle. So from right ventricle, 70 ml of blood is pumped into the pulmonary artery and from left ventricle, 70 ml of blood is pumped into aorta. Next one is cardiac output or minute volume. It is nothing but the amount of the blood pumped out by each ventricle in a minute. We already know that for one heartbeat 70 ml of blood is pumped out by each ventricle which is called as stroke volume. Here we want the blood coming out in a minute. So to get the cardiac output we multiply the stroke volume into the normal heartbeat per minute that is 72 and we get 5040 ml. We take it approximately as 5 liters. So cardiac output is 5 liters per ventricle per minute. You should be very very cautious and peculiar about the units you write beside the values because they are very very important. The cardiac output is also called as minute volume because we are calculating the stroke volume per minute. Next one is end diastolic volume also called as EDV. Diastole means to relax. In the cardiac cycle, ventricles are seen to relax here, here, here and here. This is the end of the diastole as from the next stage the systole sets in. So the volume of the blood present in the ventricles at this stage that is at the end of the diastole is called as end diastolic volume. The normal value of end diastolic volume is 130 milliliters per ventricle. Here only the left half of the heart is given. Even in the right side, the end diastolic volume is 130 ml per ventricle. Coming to next topic that is end systolic volume. During the systole ventricle ejects blood. If it's right ventricle, it ejects blood into the pulmonary artery and if it's left ventricle, it ejects the blood into the iota. This ejected blood is nothing but the stroke volume. As we have already discussed in the previous video, after this ejection, that is after the systole, still some of the blood will be remained in the ventricle and that is called as end systolic volume. So end systolic volume is equal to end diastolic volume which was present in the ventricle at the end of diastole minus stroke volume which got ejected. So 130 minus 70 that is equal to 60 ml per ventricle. Now it's time for the next topic that is ejection fraction. Ejection fraction is nothing but the fraction of end diastolic volume that is ejected during systole. In other words, the ejection fraction is the stroke volume expressed in percentage. We all know that end diastolic volume is 130. Let's consider the 130 is the 100 percent and we know that stroke volume is 70. So how much percentage of EDV is ejected? 
with cross multiply and get 70 into 100 by 130 that is 53.84 percentage of EDV is ejected during system. The normal ejection fraction is less than 55 percent of EDV. This ejection fraction is used to assess the ventricular contractibility that is ventricular function. Cardiac index. The cardiac output expressed in square meter of body surface area is called as cardiac index. For an average 70 kg man, the square meter of body surface area is 1.734 square meters. So, cardiac output by body surface is equal to 5 by 1.734, we get 2.8. So, the average or the normal cardiac index is 2.8 plus or minus 0.3 liters. When a person is exercising or stressed or emotional, the heart has to do extra work that is it has to pump extra blood to cope up the above mentioned condition. So the cardiac reserve is the maximum amount of the blood that can be pumped out by the heart above the normal value in the conditions like exercise, stress etc. It is usually expressed in percentage. In young adults, the cardiac reserve is 500 percent that is the cardiac output is 25 liters per minute we all know that the cardiac output normally is 5 liters per minute in cardiac reserve the heart is doing 500 percent extra work and it is pumping 25 liters of blood per minute okay in athletes, it is about 600 to 700 percent, that is about 30 to 35 liters per minute. In old people, it is 300 percent, that is the cardiac output is 15 liters per minute. In cardiac diseased patients, the cardiac reserve is very very less and in some percents it is almost nil. This was all about today's video. I hope it was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.